Network Programming in Java How can we do a Java database programming? What is a Java.SQL package, JDBC driver, and network programming? What are the several components of it? Hello everyone, I am Sukanya from Goedu Hub Technologies and in this video we are going to discuss about network programming. Java networking is a concept of connecting two or more computing devices together so that we can share resources. Java socket programmings provide facility to share data between different computing devices. It is best used for sharing resources and for centralized software management. Some networking terminologies are IP address. Description is IP address is a unique number assigned to a node of a network. Example 192.168.0.1. It is composed of octets that range from 0 to 255. It is a logical address that can be changed. Protocol. A protocol is a set of rules basically that is followed for communication. For example, TCP, FTP, Telnet, SMTP, POP, etc. Port number. The port number is used to uniquely define different application. It acts as a communication endpoint between two application. The port number is associated with IP address for communication between two applications. Next is MAC address. MAC Media Access Control address is a unique identifier of NIC, Network Interface Controller. A network mode can have multiple NIC but each with the unique MAC. Socket. A socket is an endpoint between two communication. Connection oriented and connection less. In connection oriented protocol, acknowledgement is sent by the receiver. So it is reliable but slow. The example of connection oriented protocol is TCP. Connection less protocol acknowledgement is not sent by the receiver. So it is not reliable but fast. The example of connection less protocol is UDP. Next is Java.NET package. The Java.NET package provides many classes to deal with networking application in Java. Some of the classes are given below. That is Datagrams packet, Datagrams socket, Datagram socket IMPL, Interface address, JAR URL connection, Multicast socket, INET socket address and INET address. Protocol and Content Handlers Handlers are classes that extend the capabilities of standard URL class. A protocol handler provides a reference to the Java input-output stream object where appropriate that retrieves the content of from the URL. Content handlers take the input stream for a given MIME type and convert it to Java object of the appropriate type. Now, what are JDBC driver? JDBC drivers or JDBC stand for Java Database Connectivity. JDBC is a Java API to connect and execute query with the database. It is a part of Java standard edition. JDBC API uses JDBC driver to connect with the database. There are four types of drivers which we are going to discuss one by one. The very first type of driver is JDBC ODBC bridge driver. The JDBC ODBC bridge driver uses ODBC that is open database connectivity driver to connect to the database. The driver bridge connects the and converts the JDBC method calls into the ODBC function calls. So there is a Java application and then there is a type 1 driver, ODBC driver which connects to the database. Advantages, type 1 driver is a database independent driver. It is very easy to use and it does not require to install this driver separately by default in Windows. Disadvantages, it is the slowest driver. Type 1 driver in it internally depends upon ODBC driver. So ODBC driver can concept application only on window machine that is platform dependent driver. The next is native driver. The native API driver uses the client side libraries for the database. The driver connects JDBC method calls into the native calls of the database API. It is not entirely written in Java. Suppose there is a Java application and there is type 2 driver that is native driver and then there is vendor database library which fetches the data from database. The advantages are it has good performance as compared to the type 1 driver. No ODBC driver is required now and type 2 drivers are operating system specific and compiled. The disadvantage is it is also database dependent driver. It is platform dependent driver and only Oracle 2 provides the type 2 driver. Next is network control driver. The network protocol driver uses middleware 
an application server that converts the JDBC calls directly or indirectly into the vendor specific database protocol. It is fully returned in Java. You can see here the middleware. This is actually the network protocol driver which is connecting the type 3 driver to the database for any JDBC application. The advantages are this driver does not directly communicate with the database. So it is database independent and for any database this driver is same. It is fully written in Java, so it is platform independent driver and no client side libraries are required. The disadvantage is network support is required on the client machine. When we change the database, we need to change the middleware code also. Maintenance of network protocol driver becomes costly because of the changes. The next driver is thin driver. The thin driver converts the JDBC call directly to the vendor specific database protocol. That is why it is known as thin driver. It is also fully written in Java. So there is no middleware here. It just is a Java application and a driver to fetch the data from databases. Better performance than all the other driver, platform independent and no software is required at the client side or the server side. Disadvantage is the database dependent driver because it is directly communicated with the database directly. The next is java.sql package. The java.sql package contains the entire JDBC API that send SQL structured query language statement to the relational databases and retrieve the results after executing those SQL statements. Contains classes and interfaces for JDBC API. A list of popular interfaces of JDBC API are given below. The driver interface, connection, statement, prepared statement, callable statement interface, result set, result set metadata, database metadata and row set. These all are the JDBC API which are together combined in the java.sql package for JDBC connectivity. By the end of this video, we have studied about various JDBC drivers and some java.net package components and the network terminologies required for networking program. For more concepts of Java, we will look into upcoming videos. Thank you.